Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to X-Dex. Today I'm going to be teaching you another one of my special moves called Tilt-A-Whirl. Now the name was inspired by a ride in the movie Sandlot where all the kids took chewing tobacco and then threw up on it. Hope you guys enjoy the move, it's really flashy, I like it a lot and it's very fun to perform. Um, the prerequisites include the deck roll, flicker, and bullet, all of which I teach on our channel. So if you guys need to, go check out those prerequisites and please enjoy the tutorial. All right guys, and now let's get into the tutorial for Tilt-A-Whirl. So I wanna warn you of a couple of things. This might be a longer tutorial than you're used to, so buckle down. It's going to take a couple of things because there are some subtleties to go over, as well as the fact that the way I teach this, I have some closers that look like this with a rev cut, some that end with a, oops, excuse me, with a tri cut, and some that are just a charlier. So there's no conclusive one to this. I've also been messing around with this idea You'll see it at the end, or you'll see kind of what it is at the end, but I do this, and instead of dropping it, I flip it back a couple of times, um, and even just do something like that. There are a bunch of different variations to the ending. I haven't really decided on one, but I needed one to teach, so with all that rambling, let's jump into the tutorial for Tilt-A-Whirl. So where you want to start is corner grip uh, between your thumb and your pinky. That is important to pinky on this. Um, and get about eight to 10 cards is a good packet size. Uh, if it's a little bit less, that's also okay. Um, but one of the most important things about this tutorial and getting this move to work is this bend right here at the very beginning. You're going to bend this packet uh, with your index and thumb pushing towards each other and so that it arcs into the shape of your palm because what's going to happen is your thumb touches the top left corner like this and pushes it over. So it turns it face up in your hand and that preps your hand to do this. So if you guys have learned flicker, excuse me, if you guys have learned flicker, uh, oopsie, that's not even able to do it right now. Uh, you want this with potentially a new deck or an older deck where you can slip that card out. But what you're going to do is put your index finger curled underneath this side, so the face up side, and the middle finger is going to reach over the top and pinch a card off here. So what you're going to do is do this. And this is kind of hard, definitely hard to do it in slow motion as I'm trying to slow this look down. So you peel a card off and you bend it, you flex it a little bit. And then when your thumb pushes this packet over, that is what's going to help you have one card free, that little pull there. And you're going to perform flicker. So you tilt your hand over. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of flicker in this because there's a whole tutorial for it. But you flip it over so that when the index finger crosses over the top of the middle, it's going to flex underneath and the ring is going to catch it like that. So you're gonna display like this. And you'll be able to tilt it around and when you point it at the camera, you'll see this whole position of it swinging around and whatnot. Um, so you got uh, the push, thumb pushes that corner, then you're able to grab a single card and start flicker, flip it out, and then flip it open to this position. Now while this is happening, in your dealer's grip hand, you're going to be performing bullet. Now bullet is also taught on this channel, and I know that some people have trouble with that, so uh, definitely go learn that tutorial first. But what you're going to do is start bullet, and get to this position in bullet to where you're like this. Then when you get to here, you can put your wrists together so that it's an extension of the uh, whole move. And then if you can, I usually have my right or my dominant, my non-dealer's grip go over first and then come back. And then when I come back, uh, I guess this is going to be reversed for people who do this with their left hand, uh, who's, uh, or who, whose dealer's grip is in the right hand, excuse me. But what happens is you've got this portion down. You come over with your dealer's grip hand then back the opposite direction of that with your non-dealer's grip hand over top, then back again. Then when I come back to the middle position or the neutral position again, I finish bullet. I, over, I pull my index over top of my middle on this hand to get the card out from under my ring to slap it down on top of there. This pack is still left in this grip. And if you guys have learned the move Pincho, um, I do a variation of Pincho that I can teach in its own tutorial if you'd like. You can leave that as a comment if you guys want a tutorial on it. I'll do it more in depth. But essentially you pull over with your middle finger and push your middle and ring finger underneath. Your index finger lays on top. Your pinky lets go. And usually you do something different when you do Pincho as it's taught. But I like to do it as if you were doing backdrop. So if you guys have learned backdrop, that'll also help in this. Your middle finger, it's like doing backdrop, but with the middle finger only. Um, and then your thumb pulls in, your index finger is applying pressure like that underneath and is flipping that over while you're finishing that cut. 
So let me slow that down. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things going on here. I'll kind of do it slow motion. So you get the flex of the cards here. Push that top corner with your thumb, your dealer's grip thumb, the opposite corner. This would be left for righties and right for lefties. Flex, push that over. That is when you grab, oops, see it's super hard to do if you didn't just do it. Grab a card out like this. And I'm gonna try to slow-mo it so you guys can see when I'm doing both. So at the same time you're grabbing this singular card, you're also starting bullet. So that you get, when you are on this first turn, you get out at the same time. And you come back, come here, can finish, you're finishing up the bullet. Now the, in, the ring finger's been pulled off of this. This is going face down onto the top of here. This starts, I do a try cut, which I can do a tutorial for later if you guys would like. It looks like that while I do my variation of Pincho and then lay that here but it actually looks like this so I lay that on top of that packet closing there's a whole bunch going on here so I do this variation of Pincho so in this tri-folded cut I fold that over on top of this while I'm charlieing that's a verb this packet up towards the top one over onto that then this continues to open and then I close that all together so in slow-mo, it looks like this, pushing that up at the same time I'm dropping this over. Index pushes up, thumb comes down and closes the whole thing. Now, let me go over this again, because this is going to be really difficult if you guys are a beginner. So I would definitely say this is a more advanced tutorial. So you flex it, push, start bullet, start the flicker in this hand. You come, the dealer's grip hand comes over top, the non-dealer's grip, non grip hand comes over, then come back. To finish bullet, you're pulling this in, your thumb grabs it while your hand is turning over. So there's, it looks like there's more motion going on than there actually is. This is flipping over and laying that on top. And sometimes I just reset it to this and do a deck roll. That's why I, got, I taught you guys deck roll last week. Sometimes I just do this. Um, so I literally just do this into that or you guys can do it this way, but I can go over the tutorial of it later, or a more advanced one, this pincho variation with a tri cut, like that. So I'll break down that last part one more time. So you open, get into this piece. Also, there will be slow mos at the end, if that helps you guys. Drop that on top, you're in this position now, with the card still at near, between your pinky and your thumb, and then your index pushes underneath well, it, I'm sorry, how do I do this? <laughs> my, yeah, I guess my middle and ring finger can actually push underneath and my index lays on top. Sometimes I get the turn started with my index finger just to help and then it pulls back out and readjusts. But if you got, if it's possible for you guys, you can just use your middle and your ring to pull that side, uh, pull this side of the card as if you're doing pincho. Pull underneath and put that index finger on top like this. Your pinky on this hand is going to let go so that, and these, fingers are going to straighten out so it's like this and then as the middle finger rotates over top of the index which is what you're going to want to do the thumb can come up and grab that long side and then you can open up a charlier and drop that in or if you guys know the i don't even know what this is called like a three packet charlier or a tri cut uh you can do that at the same time so with this lay that on top and close that is pretty much tilt a whirl guys if you want one extra thing uh i'll teach you I'll go over it slowly one more time, but that's pretty much it if you guys want to jump to the slow-mos. So we'll start it again, get the eight to 10, give it a flex, push it with the thumb, start, Oh, there we go. You gotta do this quick. That's what I mean. So now I'll just give it a little flex and then start. And for some reason I'm able to get the card in my hand and it really helps. But you give that a little flex, start bullet and the flicker at the same time. And as you're, you can start the flicker and start the bullet as you're rotating your non-dealer's grip hand down and your dealer's grip hand over top, like this. You, you can do this like little flash thing as many times as you want. The right goes over the left, the left goes over the right. Um, this is all style choice, so you can do this as many times as you want or figure out other variations you like. Um, it's gonna hold the dealer's grip bullet thing and if you guys know bullet, you know that the wrist moves a lot and so does the wrist in flicker. So you end here, you're finishing up bullet, pulling that card around while this index finger pulls down and pulls the card away from the ring finger on this hand. This slaps down on top of that deck. These middle and ring go underneath as you start the tri-cut. 
or or I guess for beginners, I'll start it. You start your Charlier. <laughs> your index pinches here. Pinky lets go. These fingers straighten out. Thumb comes over top like this. Thumb pulls that corner out from underneath the middle finger. You can lay these this long side on to those fingers right here. And then with your thumb, push that over on top and close that Charlier. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial for Tilt-A-Whirl. It's a lot longer than I thought. Oh, and of course I drop it at the very end. But uh, with subtlety is how you get it to look really fun and playful. Um, and also you can figure out a clean ending for you. I've come up with a couple different things, but one of my favorite things is this flashy, everything just jumps out really fast. Um, there's a really old move by Nick Stumphauser called Mercier Lago. Uh, Mercier Lago, I forget how to pronounce it, but it looks like this. And then he does a very, oh, I'm about to lose that card. There we go, and it pops out, and like all of this happens in like a couple seconds. So the subtlety to make it look good is really uh, figuring out how to make this piece subtle and full. Oop, and then sometimes you grab an extra card. Also, if your hands are like mine and they're pretty sticky, you might get a couple extra cards to hang around, but yeah, like that. Then on top, and that is what it would look like in full motion. Hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you guys in the slow mos, then the outro, and thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial on Tilt-A-Whirl. I hope you enjoyed it. Know that this one is a little more complicated to make it look good. Uh, there are some subtleties that you need to know and to practice this a little bit slower so that you get the tilting motion and the fluidity of all the packets spinning around. But it is a really flashy move and it's really fun to practice. My encouragement, don't give up. You will get this one. It'll just take a little more practice than the others. But without further ado, you know where we're going. Let's jump into some housekeeping. Now guys, if you don't know already, I say this literally every week, but I work for xdex.com. That's x-dex.com. There's a link in our description and we sell decks of playing cards. We sell rare decks of playing cards. We sell our own that we make, the Lo-Fi and the Sukuyomi deck, a music themed and a Japanese themed deck. And if you guys want to help support the channel, please subscribe to our channel and please help by buying some of our cards in our store. It keeps this YouTube channel running and keeps me paid so that I can keep making this every single day or every single week, at least for you guys, but the Instagram stuff every day. And with that flawless segue, let me talk about the Instagram. If you guys haven't already, please follow us at XDex Rare Cards. That's our Instagram. I always reply to our comments there and on our YouTube channel, and I love engaging with you guys and talking. And if you guys don't know already, I've set up our Discord, which is this link here, and I keep hitting the mic. Um, but I have finally submitted or continued to get 
I don't even know what I'm saying. I have finalized my <laughs> office hours for these, uh, so to speak, with help for troubleshooting and just jamming with you guys. So that will be Thursdays at three to four Eastern Standard Time. I will for sure be on there. I might hop on there randomly at other times, but those are times where I've pinned down where I will sure be there. Anyway, guys, I'm pretty sure that I have said nothing else important in all this rambling, but keep this keep your eyes peeled oh my goodness i am just a wreck today keep your eyes peeled to the channel for giveaways i'm working on what i can give away to you guys and i can't wait to see you uh if you guys haven't seen it already i was just at the 52 and joker conference but i'm recording this beforehand and i'm rambling again so i'll just head out anyway see you guys bye